Hey Pisces, I'm about to do y'all shadow work reading. It, the purpose is to pretty much um, put some light on the darkness. To pretty much see what's been affecting you energetically in a negative way. Because it's just as important as looking at the good things coming or whatever. Let's look at the shadow, the yin and yang. So yeah, compassion that came out. And talent. I'm going to see how that ties into the reading at the end. I just don't want to contribute to like um, toxic positivity or like lying to people in spiritual work, work or spiritual community or fake woke community. Like sometimes when bad things happen or bad things happen or something is affecting you in a negative way, the best thing to do is look towards it not just you know say good things and hope that it goes away so it's about facing the shadow pretty much so i'm gonna get seven cards from the deck and see what comes up for the pisces who is reading this for see what darkness you're avoiding and how it's affecting you how you can heal it Compassion being there though, even before I pull cards, I feel like it might be about for yourself or for some sort of process. Maybe not being compassionate or patient with yourself, but I'll see what comes out. Oh, the deck is in reverse, my bad. So. They got the Queen of Knives in reverse. The Four of Sticks. The Four of Coins and Miss Robinson. Then the Five of Baskets. The Nine of Sticks. And the Nine of Baskets. So. Hmm. Two Fours. Two Nines. I feel like you're avoiding the effect that like a, an abusive person had on you. Could be a mother. The first thing I got was a mother or could be like an older sibling, somebody who had some sort of responsibility or authority over you in some way. It could be aunt. I don't know. You could be avoiding like the fact that you carry around maybe the fucked up things they said or implied but it's still affecting you spiritually but I feel like it was some sort of like verbal abuse from somebody who's supposed to love you and nurture you or teach you um, obviously this can be for all Pisces you don't know if it's for you how it's affecting you is the four of sticks I'm going to clarify it I feel like you don't really feel safe. Maybe you don't you don't want to stay in one place or you don't like to nurture relationships or don't stay in one place or with one person too long. I don't know. I feel like you like absorb some sort of lies that was told to you about you and who you are. And it makes you like not feel safe with anybody, which in turn makes other people not feel safe with you. Because this is how it's affecting other people with the four of pentacles. It's like. Hopefully it makes sense is reaches somebody who makes sense for it. Because it's hard to find the words to say what I feel sometimes. But with the four of pen, with the four of coins it's like people don't know or a person doesn't know if they should invest in you. Because maybe you're too flighty or too 
You could move a lot. You could travel a lot. You could not want to be in committed relationships. I don't know. It's one of those things for whoever this is for. I feel like spirit is telling you to redirect this energy with this Miss Robinson. I feel like this is how the energy can help you. This is how the energy that's harming you right now could be turned around, transmuted into something that can help you. It's being represented by Miss Robinson. This is the devil in the traditional tarot. So I'm going to clarify, actually. I feel like, though, I feel like, um, before I clarify, I feel like it's saying, um, use it as, like, fuel to get the things you really want or... Because in this deck, Miss Robinson, though, she's very vengeful. So it could be telling you um, the person, if they're alive, I don't know why that came up. The person, I feel like you have to confront what happened or what they said to you, how it made you feel, like if it made you feel rejected. If it made you feel not good enough, there's another four. So we got four, four, four. Already, you can look up that angel number and maybe it has a message for you specifically. But, um, yeah, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> I know it's not about me, but I'm a Pisces North Node and the four, four, four is funny because that's my address. <laughs> But anyway, Ms. Robinson and the Four of Cups. I feel like it's telling you to let somebody know. Let the person know how it made you feel. What they needed from you or what they know they should have gave you and what they actually gave you and how it's still affecting you now. I feel like the energy that they that that they put on to you that you're still carrying around that's affecting you you need to give it back to them some sort of way give it back um y'all might think that sounds simple but it's really not but it really is simpler than like it might sound it even works like if somebody if you know somebody came around and they weren't feeling good. They fucked up your day. And you know they fucked up your day or your mood because they wasn't feeling good. If you give them back that energy, it actually takes it off of you. Like, if you actually say, you're not coming around here fucking up my day because you're having a bad day. <laughs> it really do feel better. But with the four coins being how it affects other people, I told y'all people holding back because they don't trust you. Because you don't trust yourself. Or they see that you don't feel safe or you don't trust certain situations. So it kind of makes them suspicious of you or whether or not they should invest. And I was saying how it's affected you. You got the four of wands and the six of wands. So maybe looking for attention from the wrong people, looking for love in all the wrong places. Maybe getting attention for like the way you look or your body or the things you have or the things you can buy as opposed to who you are on the inside, like your true self, because you kind of could run from that or don't want to let people get too close so they can have an opportunity to destroy you. I feel like the eight of pentacles came out because I feel like this person, it maybe could be for love for somebody, but I feel like it's somebody who is older and who was supposed to be helping you grow or helping to mold you in some sort of way with the eight of pentacles. 
but it's like they could have been manipulative, could have been jealous, could have... Could have been vindictive. I definitely feel like they were um, abusive verbally. But anyway, with the five um, cups being here, I want to clarify these first. saying the five of cups has the potential to hurt you that's what they're saying so that's all about the past so i know that there's a person from the past i honestly feel like there's a person from your childhood or teenage years or something like a mother because the empress is here and that is a mother card but it could represent like a older person who was supposed to help you and grow why is the Nine of Cups here? You got the bottom of the deck. Everything is fine. So you might be the type of person right now where well, you do say everything is fine. Like um, when you're in pain, you're sad, you don't feel good. It's like people can ask you how are you, you don't tell them because you might think they don't really care. Or you might change the subject to something that will be more exciting for them. I don't know, one of those things. But this has the potential to hurt you because you could potentially become like this person in the future. I feel with the five of pet five of baskets and the empress. Like, if you don't address it and get it out of your system, like, get it out of your spirit, the effect, the sadness this person brought to you, or whatever you feel like you lost because of this person, I mean, it has the potential to affect you and the woman or man you become or are. I feel like it can make you bitter. It can make you. Why is the Empress here? It can make you miss out on love or miss out on your true partner or your true love. The Knight of Cups and the Empress. Because you're running from feelings from the past. And I feel like it's showing up now by you running from like relationships or commitments. And that could be commitments related to love or other commitments. Because you got the solid foundation card with the four of sticks and then the six of wands is like going the other way. Um, I guess it's going to be different for everybody. But with the nine of wands and the um, ten of cups... It's telling you you can heal, heal yourself by protecting yourself energetically. I was talking to somebody on this channel. I think it was a Pisces. No, it was a Cancer. We were talking about this nine of sticks, how she's, <laughs> how she's not playing no games in this card. She has a Bible in her gun. So it's saying, um, pretty much to keep your word and protect like some sort of vision. But with the Ten of Cups, I feel like it's saying protect your own happiness. Like, by any means necessary. Don't let people just come around and use you for certain stuff. I also feel like with the Nine of Wands, it's saying don't hold back from the things that make you happy. Because the Nine of Wands can be somebody who's very hesitant does not trust anything definitely that's why she has her gun in her bible because she doesn't trust anything but i feel like it's telling you spirit is really wanting you to just take the first steps when it comes to something and once you because this represents your ancestors behind you supporting you waiting for you to make the first move towards something 
so they can back you up. But they can't make you make the first move towards your own happiness and fulfillment. The next card out, we got Wish Fulfillment. Got the Wish Fulfillment card in the Seven of Cups. This is representing the light you can use to pretty much balance out the darkness. So the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So it's about transforming or transmuting some sort of energy of um, confusion, feeling lost into because it's like in the seven of cups, she's looking at those cups and it's kind of like she's looking for something that she don't have. But with the nine of cups, everything is here, like everything is in here, that everything you can want, like money, jewelry, books, wine, food, flowers. So it's kind of like realizing you have everything you need inside of you. So maybe not looking for things outside of you to fill like a void. Maybe this compassion is telling you to have compassion for yourself, but also compassion for this person. Hopefully I'm making sense, like really, for someone. Let me read the message that came with this, even though I feel like I should pull another one. Get another card of advice for Pisces, shadow work. Finding. Okay, so that's about finding. At the bottom you have strength. So, but I automatically got, obviously, because they're right next to each other. It's like having compassion with yourself while you find the strength to overcome something. Maybe you're being too hard on yourself about something. I don't know. But I feel like separately, this finding card is about you finding your peace of mind. Like... Or finding what it is that you want in your life. I feel like you are very strong. Like you're a very strong person. You've been through a lot of things that a lot of people wouldn't know. Wouldn't suspect that you've been through. Um, but it's helped you to find or figure out who you are. Even though you haven't fully completely come into the best version of yourself. I feel like you're much better than you were. If you look back a couple years ago, you've evolved a lot. And I feel like it's telling you to have compassion and patience with yourself. But hold on, I'm going to read compassion because it came out first. It says, this, it's time to soften your heart a little and offer a sympathetic ear. To those close to you who are, who are in need of love and support at this time. I feel like it's talking about you. Really in this reading. Often emotional hurts cause the heart chakra to close. But I'm not talking about the, Okay, but let me keep reading. Often emotional hurts can cause the heart chakra to close. Preventing any feeling of tenderness towards others. It's time to break down your defenses. And remember that a trouble shared is a troubled no ma'am let me start over it's time to break down your defenses and remember that a trouble shared is a trouble halved so pretty much y'all know what that means try to imagine how it feels from another's point of view as you start to hone your natural warmth and sympathetic nature compassion occurs when your heart expands and opens up to embrace both the emotions of others and those of your own. So go easy on yourself. Yeah. So it says it's safe to open up to others. An emotional upheaval 
needs to be healed. That's what he's talking about. See another's point of view. Honor your feelings. Someone needs your support. There are lessons to learn. I feel like with this, when you say honor another point of view, another's point of view, I'm not saying don't look from the mother or older person, lover, whoever this person was who was emotionally or verbally abusive. I'm not saying don't look from their point of view. Like you probably have to in order to forgive them and be like, okay, maybe they had people do that shit to them. Most likely they did. So then you can understand why they did it. But that doesn't mean like you make it okay in your brain. Someone needs your support. Um, but I feel like when it says look at shit from another person's point of view. I feel like it's saying you look deeper into something. Like deciding that you want to do shadow work or confront your shadow. Pretty much like integrate your shadow with your light. Because if you're focused on the light, the light, the light, too much of anything is bad. So it can be blinding, confusing, make real life not even make no type of sense because you need light and darkness, good and bad. It's always going to be there. So to not look at the bad is kind of like doing yourself a disservice. But hopefully it reaches the Pisces it was for and it was some type of meaningful, some type of helpful. Thanks for watching. Peace.